Hey, Sean Jantz here, and I'm currently inside of a live in the money hourly binary trade here on pound yen. And what I want to do is I want to take you through the full, uh, and you can see I'm getting the pop, so it's looking good. I want to take you through the full anatomy of this trade, why I'm in it, how to use bird's eye view content and content and context, and then to use worm's eye view content and context for your to time your entry. So uh, let's first draw my strike here, 142.79. So my strike's all the way down here, 142.79, expiring at noon. This is exactly how you need to be recording yourself. Draw the strikes we can see. Okay, so there's my there's my strike, there's my expiration. So first things first, as you know, every single trade begins on the bird's eye view, which is a four hour or one hour chart. What's our bias? What are we looking for? Are we overbought, oversold, or at equilibrium? Okay, and for me, you know, the way that I like to trade is I'm a contrarian. So I like to buy low and sell high, right? So I'm, I'm, I'm always looking for that. I'm waiting for that really, really good uh, content reversal like I teach my wife uh, in the course, right? So you remember that. And so here we are on the four-hour chart. You'll notice that we're getting pummeled, right? The four-hour chart is crazy, crazy uh, oversold. And so I know we're massively oversold. So I know that I can look uh, for buy triggers because everything cycles, everything cycles. Nothing ever continues going lower. Nothing ever continues going higher. And if you do find something that does, let me in on it. We're all going to be millionaires, okay? So I'm a contrarian. I sell high and I buy as low as I possibly can to, okay, to lower my risk and increase my reward. Now, that's not good enough just to be oversold on the, on the bird's eye view. Next step we have to do is we now got to move into the worm's eye view to time our entry and make sure that we're, we're getting, we want to time our entry on a proper higher low to confirm that the reversal is possibly starting, right? Nothing's 100%. I could still lose this trade. Uh, but by doing my due diligence, I'm giving myself an extra edge uh, by confirming that the bears uh, have stopped, right? So here we are. Okay, so here's some of the things that I'm looking for. And, and, and just recap here, this is exactly how uh, I want to, sorry, not recap, but reiterate, this is exactly how you need to be recording yourself. Show the bird's eye view. What are you seeing? The content, right? And then here's the worm's eye view. I noticed here uh, earlier in the morning, here's our, mat, here's our daily bottom. That's a daily low. Okay, and then I started seeing for the first time, started seeing finally some higher highs, right? So that is telling me, hey, Bulls are here, bears are losing a little bit of momentum. Then you'll see we hit higher high, sorry, that's a higher low, higher low. Look at all of this demand that is forming in this zone right here. Look at all of that. See how now we're just starting to do this? That is letting me know that the bears are slowing down and the bulls are at least for the time being uh, trying to stop this from going lower. That makes sense? You gotta, you gotta, uh, if you are not doing this on every single trade, uh, you're gonna lose your ass. And I'm sorry about my language, but I care about you, I care about your money, I care about your family. You gotta make sure that when you do this, you're looking at the worm's eye view and confirming uh, that bulls are uh, for the minimum, right? And I don't even need this to continue. I just, the uh, this is how cool Nadex is. The only, I only need to stay above the blue line to make money. That is it. That's all I have to do. That's how freaking awesome Nadex is. And so you'll notice higher, higher, uh, there's our low, higher high, higher low, higher high. All of these higher lows right there. And so here was my entry, right there's my entry. So I noticed all of this demand, all of that demand, and then we come down, uh, oversold, there's my entry. And then as you can see so far since I've entered, we've had a little bit of bull pop. So uh, I have an hour and 28 minutes. Uh, I got my TP order ready to go at 94. I always, almost, almost always take profit on everything. Uh, I might be able to move that to 95. And so another quick example is I like to see how far, uh, so here's the buy side, right? And then I like to see how far the sell sides are going. You can see so far the sell sides going all the way up to 95 and a quarter. So would it make sense to put my TP at 98? No. Uh, the highest right now I could probably put it is 95 and a quarter. Uh, and so you always want to make sure that you're putting your TPs uh, from uh, what the market makers are going to be able to give you. They're not giving you 95.50 or 96. They're giving you 95 and a quarter is the highest right now. And so if I do 94, then obviously I'll be able to uh, 
uh, take profit. So we'll pause this. I still have an hour and 27 minutes to get a little bit more of a bull pop, and then I'll take profits. Uh, I, I could probably use, I like to stick anywhere from about a negative 50 mental stop. So you notice I'm in the money. So I roughly have a 66% chance of profiting on this binary. And if I if I cut losses early, and I'll, like what I like to do is I don't just see 50 and exit. I like to be a little strategic on my exit the second I start. So basically, I need price to start getting below this line and start holding lower highs, and then I'll just give up on it and possibly roll lower if I see another higher low, okay? So I don't just exit immediately, but I like to stick around a negative $50 loss. And then when you're at, when you're at the money, uh, $50 binary, then there's no need to stop loss, right? Because you're already a $50 max loss. You just let it roll. But I'm slightly in the money on this trade, so I can look to kind of cut losses early to keep that positive expectancy of a max loss around 50 bucks. So we'll pause this and we'll come back. We'll watch this sucker play out, but you just saw the full anatomy, and this is the exact process you need to be recording, and we'll come back. We had an absolute, uh, quick update, we had an absolute uh, beautiful uh, buy trigger. My TP order is getting closer and closer to get taken out. Um, hopefully here any minute. It'd be nice. And uh, so let's look at the chart here. You can see, you can see where my entry was right there at the lows, and then there was the buy trigger to the upside. And so it's pretty simple to see this stuff coming. You can anticipate this um, by when you finally start forming demand, higher high, higher high. So that con that's confirming uh, that we have now started to change uh, change control, right? So obviously the bears were in massive control all the way up until here. And then the bulls finally were able to take control back. And you can see that so freaking clear as day. This is exactly, exactly how you need to be recording. Show your entry, show everything, and then... Um, we look at the one hour candle. You can see how I, uh, look, you'll notice how on this one hour candle buy trigger, you'll notice how I fully anticipated that green candle coming. You don't enter the chart when you see arrows up in green. You gotta be entering this chart here like I did, okay? And then you wanna be entering before these arrows show up and then they push you. So pretty good stuff, uh, just about to be taken out here. And, uh, and there she goes. Pretty cool. So make sure you're recording yourself. Uh, take pictures if, you don't, if you're too afraid to record. Uh, but you can see how you can use everything you're learning inside that course material to find bird's eye view content, context, uh, and then you jump to the worm's eye view content, context. That was slightly in the money trade. And uh, get green and then bank the green. Pretty simple.